people think representation doesn't matter, but like every time you're watching TV, you're seeing man and woman, man and woman, and you're in your heart like, well, I don't know about that. My name is Blair Imani. I use she, her pronouns. I'm a black bisexual Muslim woman, and I'm the creator of Smarter in Seconds. I ended up coming out on Fox News on accident. Blair Imani joins us tonight. I was there to talk about how gay people need safe spaces, LGBTQ plus folks, and how black people need safe spaces. But for him, I was just a Muslim with no other identities. I was so like taken aback that he interrupted me to say that I wasn't allowed to speak about my lived experience. That I was like, well, actually, in addition to being a Muslim woman, I'm a black queer person. High school was the first time I started talking about just relationships in general. This is the time period where Tila Tequila was on the air and that was like the one bisexual representation that we had. I think I had come out and I just understood myself as a lesbian because I didn't realize that bisexuality was a thing. But when I came out to my mom, I was 15 and then she and I looked up the word bisexual on GLAD's reference guide. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. That definitely aligns. I think that I came out before I even knew what that meant for me because I was afraid not to. I had it in my head that if I didn't come out to my parents, I was actively lying to them, which is so harmful. It's not our fault that society has expected us to be straight and cisgender until we tell them otherwise. While it might be alarming for us to see these policies being passed in the United States, there will always be queer resistance so long as queer and trans folks exist because our lives are our resistance.